I'm just starting it. Hi guys, I'm Sasha from Network News.com. We are over here at the Pepcom 2011 event doing CS in Las Vegas. And uh, finally, we're getting a little walkthrough of the uh, BlackBerry playbook. And uh, Ryan Biden, I pronounce it in the right way, is going to show us everything that we want to know. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> so this is it. This is the BlackBerry playbook. It is our 7-inch tablet device. Um, obviously, I mean... So, smooth, beautiful looking, a couple things, very thin device, so it's less than a centimeter thick, uh, weighs less than a pound, so right around 400 grams, so very light, nice. light, easy on the hand, very one hand use kind of device, very easy to carry around and keep with you. Uh, additionally, three megapixel forward facing camera, five megapixel on the back, uh, both capable of capturing 1080p video. Uh, and then on the bottom, we've actually got a micro HDMI output, so you can then output that content or the UI uh, to a big screen TV. And you're actually using a brand new uh, OS from Kunix, right? That's a tablet OS, right? Yeah, so that, that's a really cool thing. So this is powered by the BlackBerry tablet OS. Mm -hmm. uh, under the covers there, we've got Kunix uh, handling all of the plumbing at the low level. Yeah. Uh, so they've got a really secure, really fast, really robust operating system. And then what we've been able to do is plug in additional application environments on top of that. So the primary one that you see here, uh, and where a bunch of the applications will be coming from is Adobe Air. Mm -hmm. So it's flash-based UI, very slick, very fast. Very nice. Very usable. Um, and then we also have HTML5 application environments. So mm -hmm. uh, using our WebWorks SDK, HTML5 apps can be developed for the platform. We've got a native SDK direct to the Unix OS. The really cool thing about this architecture is it's, it's extensible enough to allow us to plug in additional applications. Okay. Yeah. So you put a Java virtual machine here, and as the market continues, to evolve and if we need to move in a new direction, we have the flexibility to be able to do that. And it's very zippy. I mean, you can easily do multitasking. I saw this on one walkthrough a couple of weeks ago where, where a video was still playing in the background, right? Yeah, and I mean, and, and that's the thing with um, sort of the combination of the Cunix OS and its true multitasking nature and what we've done with the, the high-performance processor and RAM under the hood. So let me just... Uh, See if I can get a video up and running for you guys here. I think you can easy, easily run 1080p on it, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. So we can capture and encode 1080p, output 1080p over the HDMI connection while continuing to do uh, run other apps on the device. I, I think it, it, it's very important to mention this, this is true multitasking. So this task is really running. It's not getting in any kind of freeze mode like on an iOS device. It's still running in yeah, the background. Yeah, these are all still live and still running. I mean, we've had a little bit of a problem here with the app. I mean, there's there's a number of things going on. Right Right now this is sure, beta software. Sure. No problem. Um, we've got some weird internet stuff happening. So, but it gives you a sense of what we're doing. I mean, we're not suspending any of these apps in the background. They are right, live right. and running. So, if you think about the video example, or you think about uh, anything that's doing any kind of processing, any churning of data, that stuff can continue to happen and have the output ready. Ryan, can you give us an idea of the battery life? Sure. So, uh, our target is eight hours of battery life. Okay. Cool. So, we'll be able to get a full day of use out of the device. Yep. Um, and we should be able to get that with no problem. Can I hold it? my hands yeah. for one second so I can call it a hands off. Yay! <laughs> oh, that's a, it's very light, very slim. Really cool build quality. I like this mount edges. It's a little bit ruggedized even. Right, so, yeah. What, what about the final release date for it? Sure, so uh, right now we're talking about a Q1 release, so before the end of March in North America, mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll actually be rolling out to the rest of the world very quickly after that. Okay. Uh, next obvious question is about price. What's going to be course. price? Uh, it will be competitive to the market when we launch. <laughs> okay, there you go. So I guess like around $500, plus, minus, whatever. Uh, competitive to the market. Yeah. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so this is Asher for Network News. So come with Ryan Wyden over here with the new BlackBerry Playbook. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Ryan. Good job. Looks great. Fantastic.